I would never want to miss this Cause in my heart, I know what this is Hey now, hey now This is what dreams are made of Was that a high school musical? No, that's from the Hilary Duff movie That's the one The Lizzie McGuire movie Yes <laughs> I saw that once on a on a New Year's evening, but <laughs> on a amazing. New Year's evening, yeah, a classic. Um, I just woke up this morning and I was possessed by the spirit of Hillary Duff. So here we are. Well, hello, Miss Duff. Could you could you please bring Misha back? Not not gonna lie, I but Hillary Duff her to really you. wants to play Ace Attorney. Ah, uh, fine. Hey guys, today we're joined by Hillary Duff instead of Misha, which I feel like is a downgrade, but oh well. <laughs> flatter me it's not flatter if it's the truth smooth like a gravel driveway <laughs> hi cody hey coaster it's good to see you yo cody did you see the digimon episode yesterday wasn't it weird the digimon episode there's still like the show still comes on? Is it like a new show? It's a reboot, yes, of the first series. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. At some point, I want to show you episode 24, because it made me fucking cry. Hey, um, do you want to screen share the game to our Discord so I don't have to live with the delay? Yeah. I, it, it just booted up. Just give it a sec. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm adjusting the audio. Thank you. Thank you for saving my ears. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Also, I'm adjusting your audio, not the game's. Okay. <laughs> I can't adjust the audio of the game anymore because it's at one. Any lower is zero. There you go. And wha-bam. Wha-bam. Can you see it? I can see that. Sweet. Also, um... I'm in a bunch of Ace Attorney Facebook groups because I really love these games, and we ended up having a conversation about why the sprites in this look so different from the pixel art in the original, and it's because in the reboot, where it's been illustrated instead of done with sprites, all of the line work is in black, whereas in the original sprites, the lines were done in, like, different shades, so there was more color complexity. Oh. Yeah. I didn't notice that, though I reckon if I went back and looked now, it, it would be painfully obvious. Yeah, yeah, I was like, because somebody like posted them and they're like, dang, really don't like the, the reboot, the sprites in the remaster. And I'm like, yeah, there's just something about that that's really flat. And someone was like, oh yeah, it's because all the line work is black. And I'm like, yes, that makes total sense. <laughs> okay, are we ready to go? Yeah. Sweet, December 26th, the detention center, visitor's room. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you! She's in jail, again. Again? Is this the third time? Um... I don't think she's in jail in, uh, case... Three... Okay. Oh, no, it's the second. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of another game. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth, Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? Uh, I don't know. I, I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. You're not even a lawyer, so, uh, it's lawyer. okay. Lawyer? I don't even know her. I'm sorry. Ha ha. <laughs> Obligatory pity laugh. <laughs> hey, Sheck, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, everyone, if you're not following Sheck, here's the link. Not in all caps. Uh, it would probably help if I typed his name. Um, there we go. Yep, everyone give Sheck a follow. He's a variety streamer. He's Fin he's recently played Bug Snacks. He finished that. The ending was fucking weird. Uh, have you seen the ending, Misha? I 
have only the most tangential idea of what bug snacks is. Okay. So, no. It's it's horrifying. They are bugs and they are snacks. That's about what I know. That's fair. Uh, he's also he's recently started uh, Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice. That was my Ooh. first time seeing it. It looks interesting. And I believe you re- you finished yesterday or the day before. The days are blowing together. Um, Detroit Become Human, right? You said you finished that? Ooh, that one's a good one. That is a good one. So yeah, for more good stuff like that, everyone give Shek a follow. Still haven't finished Detroit. Mm, there's, oh, a okay. lot of, there's a lot to go through. Like the end game of Detroit is really long. Mm. Um, all that matters is that you get the Marcus good ending because yes. Marcus. Mm. It's not like really long, but you have to like finish out all three characters and it's just like, it feels like it drags on. Like, for when I was playing it, I feel like the game was more ending than it was game. But maybe that's just me. Oh, it's it's really good. I have opinions on Detroit, particularly the way it handles, you know, the allegory of racism. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I'm, like, really interested in, like, choices matter narratives. Yeah. Like... And I think it does. It's one of... It's a game that does that really well. Um, even if the allegory falls flat sometimes. Mm-hmm got monday morning meetings that's fair thank you for stopping by it's always good to see you and sorry i haven't been able to make it to any streams lately but next time misha misha you just you should check him out as well he's awesome okay sweet i will (laughs) um but yeah briefly touching on the racial allegory it read it without spoiling it reads like it was written by someone who read about racism that they found in, in like a history book that they found in a sewer yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's... Um, Sorry, you go ahead. I, I don't know what I was going to say. It's just kind of like... Um, I definitely went like with routes that align with my personal belief, but the, I feel like the game like really condemned a lot of those beliefs, and I was like, oh, well, okay. Mm. Nice to know the only, the only true way forward is uh, peace and liberalism. Yep. Protesting is bad, Misha. Didn't you know that? Of course I knew that. I've <laughs> never been to a protest. My apartment is not littered with old protest signs that I know I'm going to have to reuse later. <laughs> yeah, why would it be? That's that's ludicrous. Of course, of course. My my favorite part is when someone says humans androids we're all the same we're all equal it's like no we're equal but we're not the same we're androids we can literally freeze time and make calculations in like less than a pike a second Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just because we're different and that's okay that doesn't make us not that doesn't make us not equal what does really i think like the biggest showcase of like why detroit become human failed me as a game as a person of color is that there's a lot of merch for connor but there's none of marcus no. Like, Connor has a Nendoroid, and I, I just want Marcus on my shelf because he's the best. Oh my god, Marcus. Also, he's kind of, he's way cuter <gasps> than Connor. I love Connor. Marcus. But Marcus. I, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like, of, of all the merch, we got, like, the white man as a Nendo. Okay. Did we get Kara, at least? Who was a cop? Who was a cop? I don't think there was one of her. Yeah, we got the white cop as a Nendo, but not, like, the, the... Oh god, Kara's whole arc was just. Mm. We're, mm. We, this is really tangential from Ace Attorney, but like, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna look up now if there are Nendoids. If there are Nendoids, Nendos of them. Okay. On in the meantime, let's continue. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Okay. Man, onto this happy chipper music. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Yeah, the only Nendo out there is Connor. Oh my god, why? Yep, there you go. That's it. It's just what I said. 
failed. I've I've been failed as a woman of color by this game. Yep. We we got neither the woman nor the person of color. We just got wh white cop. Oh, well. uh, did you read this part already? Yeah. Okay. Wait wait. Oh sh I kind of want to go back and reread it, but never mind. Oh sorry. No, it's fine. I was like, wait, I didn't do a mockery of Gumshoe. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready? I want to hear you do my Gumshoe. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do too, is like, but we've missed, well, it'll come back. We'll come back to that opportunity. Okay. Surely she says something. <laughs> yeah. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something? Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Because capitalism, Phoenix. Because because any amount of money is a giant amount of money to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I mean mood. Any luck with Mia? This girl is in jail. She's in jail and you're like, mm, can you help me? Can I, can you bring your sister out? Yeah, you're kind of useless. Can you, like, go away? <laughs> None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Well, considering she's dead, you've had some pretty good some pretty good opportunities. So, uh Yeah. I feel like getting to see my dead sibling is good enough motivation to keep training. Uh I don't think we can show her anything, so let's just go. December 26th, Wright & Co. Law Office says, Hey, it's Boxing Day. Let's go shopping. I love Boxing Day shopping. I can't go Boxing Day shopping this year. Thanks, COVID. Oh, boy. I wonder if we can. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are. You guys just got declared, like, officially COVID-free, yeah? Yeah. Oh, That's that exciting. was... Wasn't that earlier this year and then more cases popped up? I thought I saw something in the news from today. Oh. I mean, I'm sure it's. I was scrolling, but it, like. It's 11 a.m., so I haven't checked the news yet. That's fair. <laughs> Sorry, what were you gonna say? I cut you off. Oh, I was just like, I was just like scrolling through Twitter, and I saw like a news headline, and it looked like it was dated from today, but I don't know. Hmm. Well, I certainly hope so. Sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Oh, I guess we go to uh, the police precinct. To pay bail. Exactly. December 26th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Hey, it's the Blue Badger. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Uh, you can be the cop. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live wire, that one. Is it bad that I can imagine exactly which character would have this voice that you're doing? Good. Is it intentional? Is it that person? No, I just went with something that was on hand. Oh. Because sometimes you just have stuff in your in your head. That's fair. Well, I think this would be an appropriate voice for, for that person, unless you have a different one. Got into a fight with a chief for not following protocol. <clears throat> not following protocol? Betty he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Gumshoe, don't lose your job. Yeah. I bet Gumshoe wouldn't shoot an unarmed person of color. I bet you he wouldn't. <laughs> He'd just yell at them and be like, Yeah, pal! There, there are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. Around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Uh, 
examine is not what I wanted. Let's go yell at Lotta, Lotta about what happened. 726, Gord Lake Public You're Beach. telling people just go into court and lie? Blasphemy. <laughs> Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonse Banoles. What do you reckon are some songs that Keonse would... That, that Keonse has made? Keonse is not a singer. Keonse is a model. Just, just throw my bit right under the bus, why don't you? Shutting you down. <laughs> you can't name your character Come Keonse on. and not make a joke about Miss Banoles. To the right, to the right. <laughs> December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. Oh, there he is. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. A trial today. It, uh, uh. Yes, what about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't feeling all that and all that. It was kind of fucked up, really. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Er, uh, thanks. So about tomorrow's trial, Detective Gumshoe. Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing another witness, see? Another witness? Oh, right. He said something about that in the trial today. Let's flash back to it. Serve two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to avouse that information, see? Right. Oh, right. I want to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk too much about himself, see? Or about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident, see? The 206 incident. Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his own eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Yeah. Come choose spends a lot of time looking in Edgeworth's eyes, eh? I mean, wouldn't you? I would, and I do. I do not have a big ol' I do not have some ace attorney prints on my walls with uh Edgeworth and Phoenix staring at each other sensually. Nope. Nope. You should show me those. Okay. <laughs> At some point. I want to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet. That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth. He was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. I don't believe you. My, it, they're micro expressions. He's a stoic man. Fine. I guess Gumshoe is the only one who would stare at Edgeworth, Edgeworth's lips for that long. <laughs> who stares at Edgeworth enough to be able to track his his uh, micro expressions? Exactly. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did. What she did, you know. I'm gonna go. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. See? Thank you. Oh wait. Um, I was wondering how much is bail going to be? And don't worry about that, pal. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount because he's rich as fuck. Because he's a prosecutor. Yeah. What, Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful for, to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. He is your client, so, uh... Yeah. 
Technically, he'll be yeah. paying you. <laughs> oh, real quick, I've been meaning to tell you this. In one other difference in the live action movie, you know how when you have like evidence, it pops up in like the little window? Mm hmm. In the live action movie, they have literal holograms that represent that. <laughs> like these big ass. I love that. Screens with like images on them. And whenever they go like, take that, he literally takes the hologram and chucks it. At the prosecution. It's great. Yeet. 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 Though that only happens a couple of times in the beginning because the ending is super serious DL6 times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's nothing to look at here, is there? There's food and some magazines on the sheet. Where is Lotta? It takes pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Uh, I guess let's go. Go get some... your girl. Yo, Cynics! Everyone also give Cynics a follow. Uh, I'll remember to type your name in this time. Hello! There we go. Cynics is also a variety streamer. She's currently streaming The Witcher 3 on... What day was it yesterday? Sundays and Wednesdays. Thanks for that. No problem. I remember what the days of the week are. But yeah, Sundays and Wednesdays. She stream she's currently streaming The Witcher 3 and heavily thirsting over Triss. Because why wouldn't you? Sometimes you just gotta be thirsty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, we just had like a 20 minute conversation where I was thirsting over Marcus from Detroit Become Human. So, like, come on. Yeah. And every Thursday, if you're on her Discord, she has... You got that right! She has a viewing night uh, where we just watch movies together. Last Thursday, we watched The Philosopher's Stone. This Thursday, we are going to watch The Chamber of Secretions. Well, this was fun, but I have to leave <laughs> after that one. She came up with that name, not me! Okay, So, sure. don't blame me. <laughs> Don't blame me. You can blame my friends on the other side. It wasn't me, it was Erno? You okay. got what you wanted. But you lost what you had. Yeah. <laughs> but what you had was my respect. I had that? Thing. Yeah, for about like five minutes there. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll earn it back somehow. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Can we go in yet? No? Fuck. Is there anything to look at? Go go pick up your girl from prison. She's been bailed out. Right. Okay. I have a meeting in 10 minutes. I'll be around till then, and then after. Fair enough. God, everyone, everyone's busy working because they have jobs because they're responsible adults what what is this bullshit one of the cool things about like the the zoom age is like you can have a stream open while you like go to a meeting somewhere else so though you know that's really fun it is like i could i could go be in like a work meeting like right now and still have this stream open and still be doing that like that's that's so nifty we can all multitask in different ways now can you could you do the voices while you were in the meeting totally yeah <laughs> Like, what I would do is I would just mute my microphone, and then when someone was like, Misha, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm talking to my cat. <laughs> Aww. Hey, Nick, you finally came. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Yeah. I still appreciate you coming, Becca. It's always nice to see you. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? <sighs> Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Wow. You murdered your sister before. What did you do now? Like, I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out. They let you out in the end, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? 
He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. M Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. Girl, you just got arrested for him. We've yeah. got to win this case, Nick. Okay, I think now we can go back to Gord Lake. Is there is there anything important that you need to talk to Maya about? What would I want like to talk to Maya about? How great Edgeworth is and how much you love him, Phoenix. If that if that's actually an option, I will absolutely go back and do that. I don't think it is. I just like to always check. How dare you get my hopes up like that? Sorry. That is blasphemy. These games are all subtext anyways. I know writers who use subtext and they're all cowards. They are.